Aloha, my internet family. How are you today? Welcome back to Practical Printing. I thought it's about time that we get back to our roots and do a project project here. So let me introduce you to my new little friend. Today's episode of Practical Printing is brought to you by FilamentOne.com. Filament One is the primary U.S. reseller of filamentum filaments. Most of you may be familiar with their Vertigo Gray and Vertigo Galaxy, but they also have a great line of other PLA filaments, including this Noble Blue, which is a really wonderful, shiny, um, deep, rich blue. Now, today's project, I have dubbed the Porta Pie It's actually very simple, but it looks cool. It's essentially three plates with a Raspberry Pi that runs Octoprint sandwiched in the middle. On the top, we have a quarter 20 bolt that you can attach a, either a GoPro or a web camera to. And on the bottom, there's also a quarter 20 fitting here that you can attach either to the top of a tripod or with an adapter like this. You can thread it in. Lock it down and you can place it on a mic boom. Now the intention for this project was because I review quite a few printers here on the channel. All of my permanent printer installations all have their own Octopi installation and a fixed camera mount. I wanted something that I could easily move around as I'm reviewing printers. So this concept, either mounted on a mic boom or a tripod, allows me to easily position just an all-in-one unit like this near any printer that I need to review. I can adjust the camera angle as necessary. Um, I can connect the printer via USB to it. And it makes it very simple for me to be able to control a printer that I'm testing as well as being able to use the time-lapse functionality. The other nice thing about this design is it leaves the pin headers exposed so that if I need to interface directly with a printer, such as the soon-to-be-released Prusa Mark III, I have direct access to those pins if I wanted to connect them to an INC board or something to be able to test printer direct functionality like that. So, Let's go ahead and head over to Fusion 360 and I'll show you how this thing is designed. Okay, so here we are in Fusion 360. Essentially, there's four pieces to this that need to be three printed. There's the pie plate, the bottom, the top, and then four of these spacers. And I'll show you the designs of each piece. I started off with the plate because that gets us our base pattern that the pie and everything is going to adapt to. So I started off by making a basic sketch here that had four holes uh, in the positions that needed to go through the circuit board and the outside of that covered the size of the Pi itself so that it was equal distance size to the Pi. I then extruded this up added a sketch and added a couple of nubs to raise the board off of the plate itself and then I just cleaned it up with a couple of fillets to make it look a little bit prettier on these outside edges. Now I basically just did a save as to start to get over here to this plate and I trimmed that down a little bit smaller so it was just three and a half millimeters larger on either side, uh, outside of the holes. So by taking that down a little bit, I extruded that up. Then I added a cutout to, for the quarter 20 nut to sit into it, like so. 
added an outer fillet to the corners and then I took out a chunk of the middle here as you can see in that angle just to lighten it up it, it wasn't as solid didn't need as much printer uh, or much filament to be printed and then just added a couple of fillets to the corners to round it off. The top piece was done in a very similar fashion except this covers the entire top of the pie. Now the reason I took the bottom piece to make it smaller was some tripods have a slight of uh, a bit of an angle where it might try to grab the camera so that gave us a little bit of an offset in case we had some sort of a mount that needed to cup around that. Then of course the last piece was the spacer was just a single sketch of two circles and that was extruded up to the height that we wanted. Now let's go ahead and head over and I'll show you the quick assembly process on this. Okay, I've got, went ahead and printed out all of the parts. We have the pie plate, the bottom, and the top, and of course the spacers. So we're gonna start with the top, and I've pre-threaded in four of these screws, and we're just going to tighten those onto the spacers by hand. We're gonna start off with one corner, and it's important when you do this that you don't over-tighten them since it's going into plastic. Now all of these holes are M3 size, but I just used 440 uh, imperial size screws, which seem to fit just fine and they happen to be what I had laying around. Okay, now that we have all four on, we're going to go ahead and put through the quarter 20 bolt. Now, I designed this that you could put in a standard hex head, but I happen to have a socket head screw, so I just used that. And then I'm going to add a lock nut on the top here just to hold it down. Now this is where our camera is going to attach. So let's go ahead and set that aside. And we're going to move on to the bottom. We're going to just insert a nut into the bottom. And that is what is going to attach to your tripod or your adapter for using it in a mic boom. We're going to go ahead and sandwich that with the pie plate. And I'm going to thread through four more bolts uh, or screws just long enough to get them through the other side. And like so. Now we can go ahead and fit the Raspberry Pi board onto it and the holes should line just right up. And then we'll fit the top piece over it like so. And I'm going to go ahead and start these off by hand just to get it through the board and into the spacer. And then we can move on to the cordless screwdriver to tighten them up the rest of the way. And there you have it. We have the porta potty all assembled and done. At this point, you can go ahead and attach your camera to the top. Now, I'm using a USB web camera here, but it could be a GoPro or anything else that you wanted to attach to the top. The GoPro just happens to work directly, I'm sorry, the web camera happens to work directly with, with Octoprint. So it will attach via USB on the back here, and it will be done. Now we can go ahead and attach either an adapter to the bottom like I have here that will fit it into the mic holder on a boom and tighten up a lock washer just to keep that from rotating. And if you want to put it on a tripod you could just screw that directly into a tripod. But in this case I'm just fitting it to a mic boom which allows me to position this entire unit, the camera and the pie and everything, conveniently where I want them. So as I'm testing printers I can aim this in right at the bed where it needs to be connect the USB, and away we go. And that, my friends, is the simple porta potty Very practical, very simple project. Hopefully it will allow me to be able to produce better reviews by being able to put this right at the printers that I need to review 
instead of having to kludge something together every time. I'd like to thank Filament One again for sponsoring this episode and providing the filament for this project. And I'd like to thank all of you viewers for sticking with us and watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Practical Printing. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Thank you for sticking with us. If this is your first time watching us, please be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring that bell so we can let you know whenever new projects or reviews are posted. And with that, I bid you aloha and have a good day.